legend VMAs in Los Angeles, Beyonce broke some internet-shattering news. The first family in music was expected. The big announcement wasn't just a surprise to the audience at home, it also shocked the entire VMA team. The night turned out to be a very special occasion for Mr. and Mrs. Carter, but just days before the big night, Jay-Z and Kanye West weren't even confirmed to perform. It can now be revealed that it took Beyonce, Jay-Z, and Kanye West to create one of the biggest and sweetest moments in pop culture history. Set to take the VMA stage in August, Beyonce was running the world with her newly released album, Four. And while Queen Bee was ruling the airwaves, Huggy Jay-Z was unveiling a secret project. <laughs> Jay-Z and Kanye West. They decided they're going to do this project Watch the Throne. It was so timely because there was so much buzz about this project. So when the mysterious album dropped three weeks before the VMAs, MTV producers knew they had to get them to complete this year's lineup. Only one problem. The duo had no plans to perform anywhere. We felt like, let's go for it. What's the worst that can happen? They can say no. We're supposed to go see Jay do the pitch, and we get the call that says, you should talk to Kanye. If he's in, we'll go to the next step. But the only problem was that he was on tour in Europe. We emailed Kanye. We got a pitch for you. He responds with, sounds good, love to hear it. So we had thought that, you know, maybe we were going to go to London, maybe we were going to go to Paris. Great, where are you? And he says, come see me in Krakow tomorrow. We wanted our shot, and here it was, but, you know, it was it was going to mean having to go to Poland for 24 hours. With 6,000 miles between Los Angeles and Krakow, and only days until the show, producers were against the clock to convince Kanye, while VMA rehearsals were underway in Los Angeles. We literally ran from the airport. We sit down in the kitchen, and we're walking him through exactly what it's going to be, and you can see he's getting excited about it. He immediately was like, I get it. I love it. Let's do it. Racing back to L.A., producers now had to see if the pitch paid off. Everything is planned out weeks before, and we're days before the event, and there's no time for Jay and Kanye to rehearse. It's an extra performance. Can we even figure out how to include them in the show at this point? Luckily, we were able to go over to Adele, and she graciously agreed to switch her time out so Jay and Kanye could go at a time that worked for both of them, and it was fantastic. While the surprise throne debut was finalized just days before the show, Beyonce had already spent months preparing for her performance of Love on Top. During rehearsals, there was absolutely no hint of what was to come. Absolutely not. As rehearsals came to a close, the big night kicked off with the rollout of the red carpet Sunday night. I remember walking with Beyonce and her publicist, and she turns to us and she goes, I'm so nervous. It didn't dawn on me, and I said, oh. So Beyonce just revealed the paparazzi that she's the regulars? What? Beyonce broke the news that she was pregnant on the red carpet more than an hour before her big main show performance. But since she was one of the last arrivals and it didn't air during the live pre-show, her belly was kept largely under wraps. For some reason, it really didn't get that much traction in the press. It really wasn't tweeted about at the time there was no Instagram. So the news didn't spread as quickly as it might have today. But the red carpet miss only added fuel for a bigger main show moment. And with the show about to begin, one last preparation needed to be made to assure everything went perfectly. About 20 minutes before we went on there, I get a message, Beyonce wants to see you. She turns to me and she said, uh, you know, so Hamish, at the end of the performance, uh, I need you to do something for me. I need you to stand on a shot of me that's from my knees to my head. And she goes, um, I'm going to pronounce I'm pregnant. The 2011 VMA started strong with a rocking performance from Lady Gaga, followed by the unannounced throne takeover, a set that just two days before wasn't going to happen. In the way that the album had just sort of dropped. We wanted to start the second act of the VMA right at a commercial break, no introduction, just hearing the music. I can swear, the audience is like, wait a second, Jay and Kanye weren't even announced to be here. We just were all on cloud nine, like, cannot believe we actually pulled this off and they're actually here. The stage was now ready for the night's second unexpected reveal.
The place goes mad and she rubs her tummy. They go nuts and I'm like, fantastic. We were all watching a family moment. He was as lost in the moment as she was. It was just so beautiful. So now it can finally be revealed how two unanticipated surprises from three of the world's biggest music icons created the most spectacular baby announcement of all time. Fans reacted with over 8,800 tweets per second, making Blue Ivy's reveal the biggest event on Twitter at that time.